ladies and gentlemen it's here we finally have some hero talents for shaman it's gonna be the stormbringer which is not restoration it's going to be elemental and enhancement shaman but the tree is there the talents are uh, now known so i'm going to go through them very quickly and give you my first impression first uh, opinion on how this looks I'm going to be mainly looking into the enhancement tree, but uh, we'll probably jump into the elemental every now and then as well to see uh, what's there. So let's just dive straight into this uh, Stormbringer. The main gameplay changer, I guess, is going to be called Tempest. Every 40 Maelstrom weapon stacks that you spend replaces your next lightning bolt with a Tempest, and that deals nature damage and basically cleaves to other targets uh, within 8 yard radius. Now, this one is kind of interesting because it doesn't seem that it has a cap where the damage uh, from the Tempest starts to get reduced. So uh, that's something that uh, looks uh, really nice to me because uh, Shaman in general, Enhancement Shaman in general, doesn't have uncapped AoE. Um, so if that's uncapped AoE, that's at least moving a little bit uh, towards the direction of this uh, being compatible with some of the other classes in this huge pools where... You're just hitting six mobs uh, and that, that feels really bad. Uh, now, there's some questions here. Uh, I would assume that the, the, the Tempest uh, Lightning Bolt is going to trigger the Primordial Wave, wave uh, as well. Uh, it's going to be instant cast with all the Maelstrom st stack that you gain, etc, etc. Uh, but that, that looks like an interesting spell. Uh, we can say that much so far. Let's go to the left side. Uh, spending Maelstrom weapon stacks grants you 3% haste for 15 seconds. Gaining a new stack does not refresh the duration. So that basically means that you'll be having passive 6% haste, give or take, if you're spending your Maelstrom correctly and you can generate it quick enough. Uh, even more on AoE packs. So that's uh, that's a pop. I mean, we'll take it. It's it's nice to have uh, a little bit more haste. Lightning Bow and Chain Lightning have 30%. 5% chance to refund 3 Maelstrom weapon stacks, so when you're casting Chain Lightning or Lightning Bolt, you're getting a Maelstrom back, potentially. Uh, doesn't apply to Elemental Blast, so that's a thing. On single target, you're um, casting uh, Ellie Blast a little bit more, and you're not going to be getting Maelstrom back from that, so that's, uh, that's interesting. Also, if you're casting the Tempest Bolt, maybe that doesn't refresh Maelstrom as well. So uh, those are some interesting interactions that we'll have to figure out. Uh, Chain Lightning, Earthquake, and Crash Lightning damage is increased by 15%. That's another passive, uh, which sounds great. But at least to me, it's a little bit weird because... All right, Chain Lightning is Chain Lightning. But then Earthquake is a very main component of the damage that Elemental Shaman does. Although I don't play Elemental that much. While Crash Lightning... It doesn't do that much damage for enhancement. I mean, it does do damage, right? But uh, especially the initial hit, uh, if you buff this by 50%, it's just, in my mind, it doesn't sound competitive to the Earthquake. The, the buff to the Elemental here seems to be bigger, uh, but we'll see. Uh, we don't know what the tuning is going to be and how all of this is going to play out. Uh, so another passive buff, uh, we'll take it. Let's go through the middle. Increases the critical strike chance of your nature spells by 10% and the critical strike damage of your nature spells by 5%. So that's going to be quite significant for AoE. I don't know if that applies to Ellie Blast because Ellie Blast is everything, right? So uh, if that affects Ellie Blast, that's also going to be uh, quite nice. Uh, another passive that gives you extra damage. A note here. Uh, when Tempest uh, only strikes a single target, gain, uh, gain 3 stacks of Maelstrom weapons. So that's basically a single target build for raid or whatever. Uh, I don't think you'll ever pick that in M+. And when Tempest strikes more than one target, your next 3 chain lightning spells are instant cast and deal 75% increased damage. So the second one, the Arc Discharge, sounds very powerful and very engaging. Uh, while the first one, I guess, is going to be very niche situations, uh, like in Raid, but I would see scenarios where you would even pick the second one in Raid as well, as long as there's few adds to Cleave or something like that. Uh, so interesting note, maybe kind of useless, but we'll see how it plays out. It, it could turn out that for single target Storm Swell is actually amazing. Uh, then we have this one, which is not yet implemented in the Alpha, but we don't have Alpha, right? So who cares? Uh, gain, gain the effects of Lightning Rot. 
Lightning Bolt, LA Blast and Chain Lightning make your target a Lightning Rod for 8 seconds. Lightning Rods take 20% of all damage you deal with Lightning Bolt and Chain Lightning. So that's actually very interesting because that means that let's say you open on a big pack. Uh, you strike something with your Lightning Bolt from the Primordial Wave, right? Which marks that uh, for a Lightning Rod. And then all the damage that you do... Uh, for lightning uh, bolt and chain lightning is going to funnel into that target. So this kind of lays quite nice with the fact that Enhancement Shaman specifically is a funnel class. So that is going to make you even more funnily, if uh, that's a term that we can use here. So uh, I like this. I like this. It kind of complements uh, the spec and what you're already be doing. So no, you're gonna you're gonna be doing it even better. So uh, I, I definitely approve of this talent. Of course, they need to implement it. Um, but it procs from lightning bolt. It procs from alley blast. Um, so I guess the main target of chain lightning as well. So maybe it's going to be a nice uh, gameplay here to switch targets. Uh, when it's AoE situation, so you can have several different lightning rods. I would assume that it's not just one target that could be your light lightning rod. So uh, that's also nice for enhancement because you're switching targets anyway to apply the uh, Lava Lash debuff on them as well. So you'll be just sending the um, lightning, the chain lightnings on them as well. Again, I think this is this is a very nice addition. It doesn't change your gameplay style a lot, but it adds extra to what you're already good at. So a uh, big, big win for me for this one. On the right side head, we have the nature uh, damage critical strikes reduce the target's movement speed by 50% for three seconds. This is completely useless. Uh, maybe it's like for PVP or something, but like, why is this there? Like make it a PVP talent or something and give us something good. Like, I don't, I don't wanna see that. I don't wanna, I don't wanna that to be here. Uh, so hopefully they change that because uh, I'll jump. Uh, okay, so uh, this one, uh, Rolling Thunder, Tempest Summons, a Nature Feral Spirit 4 until cancelled. Now, I think they misspelled something. Like this text, this wording is very weird. Like if you go to the uh, an elemental side, uh, gain one stack of Strongbringer every 50 seconds, which is great for them. So we're going to summon a Nature Woofy. Which is good, you know, but I don't know what it means for until or until cancelled. Like, is it gonna stay there forever? Because uh, I don't think that's gonna be the case. Uh, but extra wolves, that's gonna be good, uh, especially if uh, the tempest is something that you can use with, uh, let's say, uh, primordial wave, and then you pop your other wolfies, and you have like four wolfies all at the same time. That's gonna be good. Um, so yeah, that's that's okay. Uh, but then we get to this note. Target struck by your Tempest deal 10% less damage to you for, for 6 seconds. What is that? I mean, we're not a tank. We don't care about this. So, there is a scenario where you can time this very well uh, to like mitigate a boss mechanic, but I don't think you want to hold on your Tempest for like 10 seconds just to get that damage reduction. So, this is obnoxious. Like, I don't think you'll ever be picking this one. And then the other one... Unfortunately, it's not much better. After using Tempest, your next chain heal or healing surge will be instant cast and consume no mana. That's great, but uh, we're not a healer, right? If you're playing Elemental Enhancement, you, you don't want to be healing. So even if those are insta-cast, um, you have to be spending globals to cast them. So that's not really a defensive, right? It's just a healing. And I've seen other hero talents that actually have pretty good defensives embedded into them. And this, this is not a defensive, right? The 10% damage when you uh, cast your main damaging ability, like this is dumb. And then the other one is not even the defensive. So I think this needs to be reworked a little bit because Shaman in general is not one of the classes that has many defensives. You have your Ancestral Shift, which is a very long cooldown. And then that's it. I mean, that's your only defensive. You can argue that there's like... Uh, uh, storm um, elemental and uh, earth elemental etc but that's not the defensive right this is them so i think one of the main problems with uh, shaman in general is the fact that it's lacking defensives and this is probably one of the worst defensive nodes in the hero talents in general so that needs to be reworked like this needs to change it's, it's there's no two doubts about it uh, it's just not fair compared to other classes that have like five defensive buttons that they can press every 30 seconds and you have one which is with a long cooldown. So this this needs to change. Like the, this needs to change. I cannot stress this enough. 
All right, let's go to the last one. Uh, Awakening Storms, Storm Strike, uh, Lightning Bolt, and Chain Lightning have a chance to strike your target for 50 for some extra damage. Every three times this occurs, your next Lightning Bolt is replaced by Tempest. So you're basically going to be getting extra Tempest Bolts by using your abilities because you'll be using. Okay, so in AoE, you'll be using Chain Lightning a lot. On single target, you'll be using Lightning Bolt. Um, also, it's a good question whether or not the extra Lightning Bolts from Primordial Wave have a chance to proc this. Because if you proc, uh, press Primordial Wave, you should have like five Lightning Bolts. Three of them proc this, right? Which is, I guess, fine. Maybe it has internal cooldown and cannot proc three at the same time. But um, I guess if it procs from there, then, you know, you can get uh, a lot of extra Tempests. And Storm Strike, I guess it's not a button that you press a lot in the Elementalist build, but you press it every now and then, right? So if it procs, it procs, uh, that's nice. So this is just an extra way to get your uh, main ability. Um, I don't see this changing the gameplay style for enhancement a lot, um, but I like it. Like it has some, some nice interactions, uh, depending on how the Tempest interacts with your other talents as well. Uh, you might actually have to press this, uh, like you have to change your rotation a little bit. If that's up, you'll probably be pressing that on top of Chain Lightning if you can spend it um, in AoE situations. But overall, um, mixed feelings, but towards the positive side, uh, there are some very dumb things, right? That, that, that right side is like, what the hell is going on here? Like, all those three needs to be reworked, maybe except from this one. Uh, but other than that, um, I, I like I'm not disappointed as I was with uh, everything that I've read for the uh, other hero tree. There's still one more uh, three to be released, the Totemic Shaman, which I'm not very like looking forward to because I have low expectations for it. So that might be the best hero talent tree that uh, the Shaman basically gets. Although it again it's elemental enhancement, so it doesn't have restoration. Let me know what do you think about these in the comments below. Do you think they're good? Uh, are you looking forward to Totemic or not? Because I'm not. And uh, that's going to be it for now. Let's hope this uh, plays out to be a great uh, hero talent tree. I'll see you guys in the next video. Now take care and get out of here.